After weeks, months and even years of hard work, your book is ready to submit to literary agents and publishing houses. But you are scared. What if someone else takes credit for your work? Should you copyright your book before sharing it with anyone? On my channel, I have shared my self-publishing process, the mistakes I have made, how much I spend and how I experiment with different book marketing techniques. Today, I want to talk about copyright and answer some of your questions. I went to YouTube and searched for videos on copyright. Hey, that's my video. 20,000 views, not bad. Next, I went into the comments sections of a few videos just to understand what are some of the common questions my fellow writers and authors have. And here are some questions I feel I can help you with. But, but, but. Copyright is a complicated thing and we have to not only know how to copyright our work, but also how to defend it. What does that mean? Ask a lawyer who specializes in copyright. And I'm not one, I'm just a self-published author sharing what I know and what I do. All right, let's get into it, but stay till the end because I'll show you exactly what to write on the copyrights page. Do you need to copyright your book? No, the minute you create an original work like your book, you already have the copyright to it. But you might consider registering your copyright with the Copyrights Office for additional protection. And since India is a member of Berne Convention since 1928, your registered copyright in India also gets international protection. I'll have the link to it in the description of this video if you'd like to know more about the Berne Convention. How much does it cost to copyright your work? For literary work, for literary work with relation to any goods or services, changes to a work that is already registered with Copyrights Office, publishing translation, publishing work for specific group, all these will have different fee. But the fee starts with 500 rupees. If you make substantial changes to your book, which you have already registered with the copyright office, you'll have to pay a fee to update that and that starts with 200 rupees. Which leads me to the next question. When to copyright your book? And a related question to this is, if you've already published your book, say on Amazon Kindle, can you still apply for copyright for this book? You can register your unpublished book. There is a provision where you can send part of your work if it is unpublished and the office will keep it confidential. And once you have published it, you have to let the copyright office know and they'll update their record. And for this, you'll have to pay an additional fee. And if you've already published your book, you can still get it registered with the copyrights office. If you don't want to spend extra money and spend time because registering a copyright takes time, you can always copyright your work after it is published or the final version of your book, which you're going to publish. How to copyright your book. You fill out form 14, pay a fee and wait for a mandatory period of 30 days. If there's no objection, your application is examined and your copyright is registered. If there is an objection, there'll be a hearing. If there are any discrepancies, you'll be asked to remedy it. A lot will depend on how fast these are resolved, but it might take you about two to three months. Something to note here. The registration granted to a copyright shall be initially for a period of five years. Now, what do you need for filing your application? Scan your signature in 512 KB and a copy of your manuscript in PDF or JPEG format, which should not be more than 10 MB. Have these ready before you fill the online form. Next, log into your account and fill form 14. Once you have successfully submitted the form, a diary number is generated, which you have to note down for all future references for that particular book. Next, one print out of the copyright registration form and one print out of the acknowledgement slip and post this to this address. There is a lot of confusion about whether you need to send a hard copy of your book, of your manuscript. I'd suggest follow what's mentioned on the site. If they need any additional information, they let you know. Who can apply for copyright? Authors or publishers? Or do you need an agent to file a copyright? A follow-up to this is, can you use a pen name when copywriting your work? If you're the author and you hold the copyright, the copyright is registered in your name. And if you're the author who has signed their copyright to the publisher, the copyright will be issued in the publisher's name. 
If you're using a pen name, you'll be filling the form in the pen name, but there will be a place where you'll be asked to write your legal name as well. This is important so that there is some documentation which will help link your legal name to your pen name and help you when getting royalties. Can we use the copyright disclaimer on our novels, our books without registering it? Yes. Yes, you can. Can you use others copyrighted work? No. Even if you give credit, you cannot. Of course, there are different types of copyright. Like if you publish a book under Creative Commons, there'll be different types of permission. So it's important to understand that before using anyone else's copyrighted work. If you absolutely need to use someone else's work as part of your work, hire a lawyer who can guide you through it. What to write on the copyright page. It's an important page, but as a self-published author, you get to decide what you want to put on it. It should have the copyright notice, publication information, edition information, legal notices, ISBN information, any credits. But the most important thing is the information of copyright and who owns it and what you can and cannot do with that material. If you need more help, I would suggest look at some books in the genre you are writing in and see how they write their copyrights page and update it with the information you want to include. Here is a sample of what the copyrights page looks like for my book. And here's an example of what I'm going to include in my next book. If you have applied to register your copyright with the Copyright Office of India, please do share your experience with us in the comments section. For more on self-publishing and book marketing, watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.